He fought with the samurai. He is samurai. All right, CrossFitters, in today's video, I want to talk about Yiri or Yiji Prohaska. He is the Czech fighter who just a couple weekends ago defeated Dominic Reyes uh, by spectacular knockout with that elbow, that spinning elbow. Um, of course, Dominic Reyes himself was the guy that some people arguably believe defeated uh, John Jones, the pound for pound or one of the pound for pound greatest fighters to ever do it. So the fact that Yiji, this guy that a lot of people didn't really know about, came in and, and took out one of the top contenders in the UFC in, in such a fashion too, uh, really speaks volumes about the man's skill, the man's determination, the man's drive. I actually wanted to make this video pretty much right after the fight, but trying to do some research on him, it's really kind of hard to find a lot of really detailed information. I kind of wanted to wait until more came out. I did find a, uh, this 10 part series of, of an interview with uh, EG in Czech, but it has English subtitles and it goes into depth about his uh, like his philosophies and and his following of that uh, the way or the uh, Bushido code. So if you're interested in that, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description of this video if you want to check that out. So anyway, that's my little correction for this video. And uh, I watched his uh, Russia Today interview. So I gave a little bit more information, but the character of him is what I want to talk about and why I think he's kind of fascinating. Yeah, the man comes in and uh, defeats Dominic Reyes. Before that, he had beaten Vulcan Ozdemir, once again, with a crazy knockout. And you go back and you look through the man's record and he's 28 wins with 25 knockouts, uh, only three defeats. He's actually taken out some pretty big names even uh, before these last couple fights. He took out Vadim Nemkov, who is right now one of the best uh, light heavyweights in uh, Bellator uh, at the moment. He defeated him with a knockout. One of his losses, he lost to Muhammad Lal. He came back and he managed to avenge that loss in one of his uh, uh, more recent fights. Yeah, he's got such a tremendous uh, record and, and just crazy fights, wild fights, everything's exciting, knocking people out. And yet, for the most part, I think for most UFC uh, fans, myself included, up until his last couple fights, I didn't really, I hadn't really even heard his name, didn't know much about him. And I think that's what makes him a, a fascinating character. Uh, he even says, it, like, basically he wanted to uh, hone his skills, he wanted to hone his craft, he wanted to make himself the best before he decided to go and enter into the UFC. And I think he has succeeded in doing that. He wanted to make sure that by the time he took that UFC contract, or signed that UFC contract, that he was going to be at his top level and he was going to be able to just take out the top names and become UFC champion. And it seems like he's doing a good job to get himself there. And even after his Vulcan Ozdemir and Dominic Reyes fights, it's really interesting seeing those interviews where he downgrades and downplays his performance. He, he basically says, he's like, I, no, I'm looking for the dominant win. I'm looking for the dominant uh, performance and I haven't felt like I've done that. Even though he's fighting two killers in, in o Ozdemir and, uh, and Reyes, that he just didn't feel like he actually performed to the best of his abilities and then he has to go back to the drawing board and keep working and working and working at it to to secure that dominant victory. He's a he's a fan of Bushido and he calls himself the samurai and he tries to live I think by those codes and by those uh, that philosophy. He's also a big fan of Miyamoto Musashi in his book The Five Rings which once again goes to the philosophy and the psychology of a battle and war and you know how to how to train yourself and, and how to get yourself ready for that event and the different techniques and different skills that you should acquire. So he definitely seems to be someone who's paying attention and listening to those things. Abych to zhrnul úplně od začátku, je to hlavně o sebepoznání, o sebepoznání, o to mít do sebe, strávit prostě sám ze sebou hodně chvil, což je meditace, prostě kladení sám sobě otázek, které jsou vlastně životně důležitý, no, aby ten život měl nějaký směr vlastně, aby tomu tomu životu dávalo tu, tu cestu, tu cestu samotnou a vidět ji před sebou. Vidět před sebou vlastně tu svoji vizi, za kterou prostě ten člověk chce kráčet a silně, silně v ní věřit. Silně v ní věřit, protože, protože potom má ten život smysl. Tady tímhletím vlastně tomu životu dáváme smysl 
a nebo aspoň takhle to zhledávám já. Even though you might say he has a pretty wild style, it's very unorthodox, but I think that's what is alluring about him is that he's just coming in and, and you don't know what to expect with him. Well, I guess you can expect knockouts because he's definitely shown himself to be a knockout artist. 28 wins and 25 knockouts, it's absolutely, it's insane. So at least you can guarantee an entertaining fight when you watch him. And I believe that's why he's become so popular now and why his name is starting to get recognized. His uh, catchphrase is, I believe, pronounced Bayepa. Uh, if you're Czech, let me know. Hopefully don't grill me too bad on that one. But yeah, it apparently means like bomb the shit out of him or bomb the shit out of him. And that's basically his war cry. That's his like mantra going into his fights. So what's next on the block and what's next on the docket for uh, Iji? Right now we have the Jan Blahovich and Glover Texera fight coming up, the winner of that fight. I believe that's who Iji is going to end up fighting. And I mean, I hope, I'm, I'm hoping for Jan. Uh, I really do like Jan. I think Jan's a great guy and a great fighter, but it's also conflicting because I'm starting to like Iji as well. And I know that fight between the two of them would be absolutely amazing to watch, but then you have to go through the whole like, who do I want to win? And it's always easier when you have someone that you actually don't like, because you're just like, okay, I want the other guy to win. I'm not sure where I'm going to fall on this one, but when it happens, I'm excited for it. Aside from that, I mean, when it comes to Yiji, uh, in his Russia Today interview, he basically says he lives a very kind of hermetic, uh, ascetic life, where he's just out in the forest, out in the woods, it's learning, studying, honing, practicing, and just getting his mind right and getting himself prepared for his next steps in the UFC. And I think that's something to be admired. Um, someone who's so dedicated to what he's doing and he's not gonna let anything distract him from his dream, from his goal. And I do think that there's a, there's a high likelihood uh, after watching those last couple performances and basically all of his performances uh, essentially that uh, that there's a good chance he will be one of the, the next UFC light heavyweight champion. Hopefully Jan can go on for a little bit longer and then maybe he'll <laughs> he'll retire because I mean Jan's 38 uh, and it's cra it was crazy looking at it. Yiji's only a year younger than me uh, and man, how does that make me feel? I feel like I haven't really done too much and here this guy is, he's a year younger than me and he's uh, he's headed towards the, the UFC light heavyweight strap. Good luck to him. Uh, I'm excited to see the rest of his career. I mean, the guy's only 28, so he certainly has a lot more time to get better, which is crazy. Get better, hone his skills and really, really put on a show for a couple years. Um, and I'm excited to see what he can accomplish. Uh, let me know what you think about Yiji down in the comment section below And if you have any other fighters that you'd like me to talk about or discuss or any fights that are coming up uh, Just drop them down in the comment section below and I'll do my best to stay up to date with you. All right Have an awesome day, and I can't wait to talk to you in the next one David out